All right, let's continue where we left off from last tutorial, where we created our two new methods, add movie and get movies. And in both of these methods, we introduced our C sharp object and mapped it to our XML file. So we can interact with the file using the C sharp class or object. Okay, now we are going to create our third method and that's going to be update. So let's go ahead and do that, static void. And let's call this update movie title. Okay. Um, inside here, the parentheses, I like to pass in two pieces of information. One of them is going to be ID, which we are going to use to find the movie. And uh, the other one is the new title. So let's go string ID and string new title. Okay. So as usual, we are going to use this line of code to load the file. And then we're going to look for that file. I mean, uh, look for our movie we want to update. So let's create a new variable. I'm going to call this target TGT for short, target movie equals xdoc.root.descendants. And we are looking for the movies, all the movies. We're going to look through all the movie elements and we want to get the first or default and pass a lambda expression here. The one that has an ID of um, which is an attribute ID of and we're going to say the value of that attribute that we are looking for should be equal to what's coming through here, ID. Okay. So let me actually run this and see what we get. And of course, I didn't call the method. I would put the stop uh, breakpoint, but I haven't called the method yet. So let's call the method update. Update movie title. So I'm going to pass in an ID of four and then new title. I want the new title to be. So step brothers, I want to change that to an ice age. Okay, let me comment this out, the other method we created earlier. So let's run this, see what happens. And we are getting null. So we're not able to locate, let's find out why. Oh. A little typo here. So instead of we are looking for all the movies, all the movie uh, nodes, and then we have to filter it by the ID. So that should take care of that. Let's run this again. Now we should be able to locate that record with the ID of four. And there we have it. So ID four step brothers, perfect. All right, so once we get that, actually let me break this from this dot here so we can see the whole thing in our screen. So once we have that uh, stored in this variable, I'm going to change the, uh, I'm going to say target movie dot element. So I want to create the title element and change its value to what's coming through here, the new title.
Okay, so that should take care of that. And let's finally save it. And let's uh, print out a message saying, um, record was updated. Okay. So, okay, we are passing number four as ID. We're going to locate that ID and change the title of that movie to Ice Age. So right now we have Step Brothers. Let's run this and see what happens. Okay, went through fine. And uh, say yes to all changes. Let's look at our file. And Ice Age is right here. And our console window shows the record was updated. Perfect. So that's update. Uh, let's go ahead and create another method for to delete. So static void delete movie. And again, we have to pass in something to filter the data. So I'm going to Go with the ID again, string ID. That's unique. So, all right, so once again, we can actually copy and paste this whole thing from here. I mean, there's two lines of code. We're loading the file and locating the item, the movie. Let's copy and paste those two lines. And then once we find a target, we want to say target movie dot, well, actually, no, um, extract dot root dot remove target movie. I believe that should take care of it. And we got an error. Okay. I think we can just say pgt dot remove. And let's revisit our previous delete method. And yes, actually that's it. So we can call tell the element to remove itself. And then we need to save the file. XML file. Okay, and we can print out that the message saying um, record with ID of four, let's pass in the ID. was deleted. Okay. Let's go ahead and call that method up here. So delete movie and let's pass in a ID of four. Okay. Let me comment the update movie title method and Let's run this again. So let me open the XML file at the same time and run it. All right, so it says the record with ID of four was deleted. That means it ran through and let's accept the changes and the movie was removed. Perfect. Okay, so we did all four methods. Add movie, get movies, update movies, and delete movies. Uh, that's 
it for now. In the next demo, we're going to create a menu where we can interact with the options, add, delete, update the records to a menu. Okay, so until then, so long.